Hey, hey, fellas, what's poppin'? Roblox Giant here, and today we're gonna be talking about the top 15 most fun Roblox fighting games to play when you're bored. And for the question of this week, I want you to guys to tell us one of your favorite Roblox games to play when you're bored. You know the drill. Just comment what's the answer to this question and get your comment liked and pinned. The answer's hidden somewhere in the comment section. All right, let's go. Ultimate Ninja Blocks. This game is basically a Roblox adaptation of the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series, where you will fight other players 1v1 in an enclosed arena. This game is still in alpha, so there are only two playable characters as of now, which are Naruto and Sasuke. The controls and animations are good, and just like in the original game. Stan's Awakening Stan's Awakening is a game based on the anime series called JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. In this game, you can become the strongest stand user and make other players bite the dust. Find arrows to gain a stand. Stands can be upgraded through different items found around the map. For example, King Crimson can be upgraded through frogs. Lucky Fight Simulator This game is one of the most unique concepts I've had so far. Lucky Fight Simulator is all about getting those four-leaf clovers. The game heavily relies on being lucky. As you'll get lucky, boxes will give you random weapons. You can use those weapons against bosses and enemy minions. The gameplay is pretty easy, and the design of the UI is neat and simple. It's a pretty good game if you're looking to pass your time. Not really for competitive play, but it works as it is. Souls Combat Souls Combat is an average game at best for me. At least it has interesting characters, like the brawlers who play like Jin Kazama from Tekken. You know that guy, right? Well, he's kind of like that. At the start of the game, you can choose between the generic brawler, warrior, and chrono. Later on, you can unlock the Samurai and Gunner class. Gladiators 2 Gladiators 2 is a round-based fighting game, coming from the same guy who created the game Island Royale. This game requires 100 Robux for access. It's a sequel to the original game, Gladiator. You can enjoy various challenges and quests. Get your arena pass to get some of the sickest in-game content. There are also stats profilers in the game, so you'll see how badly you perform. Script Fighting Script Fighting is an all-rounder game that has one of the best mechanics that involves scripting. You'll be able to enter in a game with more than 150 plus scripts, in which you'll be able to fight your friends or random opponents. Each of these scripts are really amazing, and they all have different abilities and some of them are just too funny to be taken seriously. Boss Fighting Simulator A game where you fight bosses and become stronger. Boss Fighting Simulator is one of the best games you should be playing when you want to deal with bosses in the flashiest way possible. The game offers a good UI, lots of boss battles, an aesthetically pleasing map, design, and a lot of weapons you can utilize, a very active community, and a PvP zone where you can destroy players all together. It's a pretty good game, so yeah, I highly recommend playing it. Roblox Fighting Championship If you know and you're familiar with the crazy sport of mixed martial arts in wrestling and UFC, of course we have our own, introducing RFC, or Roblox Fighting Championship. Well, the mechanics are simple. Train, level up, and fight. That's basically what you're signed in for. You'll earn money by winning matches, and you can use them to rise to the top. The game features a stat and a rebirthing system. It's pretty much punching everyone till you win. If that sounds good to your ears, then be sure to check this game out. Wrestling 2X Oh yeah, wrestling. Heck yeah. Who doesn't love wrestling and strong action, right? Wrestling 2X is a realistic wrestling game. According to its devs, now, if wrestling on TV looks and sounds fake to you, then this game will give you all the pleasure of beating someone down to their knees. You can do wrestling stuff here, obviously. The game features movesets, entrances, and pretty much flex on your enemies before they beat you to death. I mean, in Roblox. You can do some roleplay here, create your own character which is necessary, join or create your own federation, and many more. Troublesome Battlegrounds 2 Troublesome Battlegrounds 2 is an arena fighting game this JoJo-based game is like the first three games except three are various game modes in the game, including training mode, ranked mode, and private. There's always the casual play where you can get from the normal mode. As for the characters, there are 10 purchasable characters which are all canon. There are six different abilities in each character, five are the main sources of your powers, and one burst or ultimate. Ragdoll Fight Simulator Ragdoll Fight Simulator is pretty much your average simulator game where you can explore in ragdoll and fight while ragdolling. A pretty funny game with fluid ragdoll animation. A lot more of a clicker game, actually, since you just need to click to punch. Wish I could go do that in real life. Anyways, the game is quite nice, especially the maps, having a simple design but not too much detail. 
There's a lot of comical variations though. And yes, you shouldn't miss this gem. Bloodlines Anime Fighting Sim Bloodlines Anime Fighting Sim is a really, really good game. You like anime games? Then this game is for you. It features detailed combat mechanics like you've never seen before. I mean, if you did already, just pretend it's your first time seeing one. There's a tedious but rewarding training mechanic that pretty much boosts your character's overall status. It's pretty easy to learn, and if you have a working brain cell, you'll wing through every fight in this game. The visuals are pretty decent, and hell, the soundtrack is far from cringe. The game is large, it's probably bigger than the universe, but <laughs> play the game. The Streets The Streets is the most accurate portrayal of urban ghettos. Want to roleplay and pretend to be a gang member? Check this out. The main goal of the game is to go around killing and beating people up. The game itself is very interactive. You can pick up weapons around the map or buy them. You can also roleplay in this game. Pretty much everything what you need in a fighting game. Tadakai Reborn Tadakai Reborn is based on Baki the Grappler. Tadakai Reborn is a free roam fighting slash grinding game. This game offers jobs in which you'll get paid, but it's pretty much just a fighting game. Jobs are a small part of it. The game's overall visual appeal is something to do with its amazing HUDs as well. In this game, you'll have to train harder to improve yourself. There are also various fighting styles you can master. Fighting Simulator Fighting Simulator is a type of fighting game that's a mix of action and simulation. The simulator game offers good training mechanics, a stylized and detailed map, as well as its own very in-game music. As for the lighting, I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty enjoyable, and the game isn't really competitive as well. So yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Likes and comments are highly appreciated. Don't forget to answer this week's question to get your comment liked and pinned. Alright, Roblox Giant at your service. Thank you for supporting and watching our videos.